Me estaba... Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Final Fantasy XIV, The Rising. Uh, the Rising is the second event that takes place during summer. What it is, basically, is an in-game event to celebrate the anniversary and relaunch of Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. Uh, so we're going to start the quest here. Before we start the quest, um, there was some fireworks that they had. So they have the same one from last year, that A Realm Red... Reborn Red or whatever. The cool, uh, you basically, you shake up that, uh, what the hell, I'm drawing a blank on what the hell it is, the wine or the, whatever the hell. Um, and then, of course, they have the Meteor Survivor firework, which, yeah, make sure I zoom out here, explodes into the cool um, Final Fantasy or Realm Reborn logo. But the cool thing they have this year is the one, the one new one is kind of crazy. Bloop. It's like really huge. It's like overly big. Uh, it's kind of fun. Anyway, we're going to start the quest from Nonora. Hey, somebody with a name I can pronounce. Uh, it's called A World Away. Minions. And you get minions, an ice heart, and a Yugiri minion. So it's pretty exciting. Not those minions. <laughs> wrong, wrong kind of minions, Blaine. Um... An untimely bug infestation has Nonora tearing her hair out. Let's see what she says here. Hopefully it's not long-winded. Your pardon, sir. You're an adventurer. Yes, then I take it you have heard of the bug infestation. No, I have not heard of the bug infestation. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. What the fuck? No? Well, take it from me. There's The sight of the things would make your skin crawl with horror. No one knows whence they came, no one knows how they came, how they have come, only that they are certain. The wilds are just beyond the city are teeming with these mechanical monstrosities and their numbers grow. Ooh, this sounds kind of cool. Hey, it's upside down. Okay, yeah, it's charging, great. It's charged. What ill fortune can plague this shrouded visit upon a close and eventually blah blah blah. Thankfully this land is not without its heroes. Of course it's not. So I speak of engaging the metallic creatures in both central and western Thanalan. Will you not aid in the courageous... I don't need to aid in this. Okay, participate in the fates recurring bugs in central and west Thanalan. So, I guess it's more fates? Um, in a letter Yoshi P posted... I was waiting for you. Oh. My wife was waiting for me, and I just ran off. Um, in a letter for, uh, in one of the recent live letters, not live letters, but produce, regular producer letters, he said this um, this quest has a very old-school Final Fantasy feel to it. So I'm pretty excited to uh, go out and do it. Yeah, However, like with most 14 events, it involves fates. Let's go find us some fates. Oh my god, we're going to get synced to level 9? I don't want to be level 9. Me neither. Let's kill us some bugs. Okay, you're not really going to need very many. We're very overpowered for this. Blink, no. Not on my screen. Dude. Oops. Than that. Really, Michael? Target of the wrong one. Hey, what's the Wandering Mistral doing out here? Oh my god, he's hell. What? Oh my god, he's just out here, like, killing stuff with us. That's so cool. This invents... What's he... Perhaps I should have brought more arrows. Oh my god. That's so cool. He's just like murdering everything because he's like. I want to do my AoE. Why can't I do my AoE? Hearken my words, glory to the song of rebirth. <laughs> Man, that's cool. <laughs> Wandering minstrel. We smote mind resolve. Amelia, no, what oh you... man. Really? You two? Stop. Kids are screwing shit up for her, but I'm fine. It's, it's alright. <laughs> Amelia, I am not. Oh my god. Water and Mestral is almost dead. Somebody kill him. No. Can't let him die. There are 
But I want to be a bard. We did it. Yeah. Victory, the bugs will not recover soon from this slaughter. Thank you, adventure. The field is ours for the day. Where's he going? Oh, he disappeared. Alright. That was actually really cool. I like Alright, let's see what no no. Let's see what Nonora has to say. You sent those bugs scattering, have you? Twelve be praised. The celebrations are saved. Alas, no. Alas, no, my dear. We are not free from the pest yet. Ah, the wandering minstrel again. I thank you for your assistance, Kamino. Wheresoever a heroic soul is needed, there shall you ever be found. I can ask for no stouter ally. Time to find somebody... Show the bug scrap to the wandering composer. Hey, look there. There he is, wandering composer. Ooh, look at this guy. He's dressed slick. What do you make of the dance and lovely? It's not to pertinent, but I can't help but feeling the relevance costumes take away from the performance a bit. Hmm? What's that? You want me to listen to something? Yeah, check this shit out, man. Musical curio, is it? Alright then, I'm game. Let's have a listen to this mysterious sound of yours. Hmm. There's more to the standard mechanical hum. There's a definite rhythm to it. A clear melody repeating over and over. And if you look closely, you can see more symbols on it. Fading in and out in time to the beat. Afraid that meaning's lost me, though. You should show this to a mate of mine. He knows all manner of strange tongues. You'll probably find him in the Azurnath Oracery's blah blah blah. Because I can't talk or read. Especially when you're trying to do a stupid accent. Yes, especially. Uh, I, if I'm gonna. If I'm gonna read stuff, I'm gonna give voices to it. Alright, let's head over to the Thermage Guild, because that's where those dudes at. Okay, so I may or may not have cut a bunch of the wordy stuff out. Um, basically. Yoshi P sent us somewhere, and we we talked to one person, and then sent us to another person, who sent us to another person. All these experts in different fields of of engineering, song, and um, dialects, uh, ancient dialects. Um, and now we're headed back to Yoshi P because we've got, it seems, an answer to disrupt the signal. Because what we've learned is this is actually really cool that these bugs. Uh, these bugs are being replicated from some device, kind of like uh, the replicators in Stargate or something. And now we find a way to send the signal backwards to shut them down. Well, my friends, are we any closer to finding a permanent means of eradicating these bugs? Mike, it's actually Yoshi P. Let's find out. Don't ruin anything for me, cat. Ah, such a mechanism will explain the never-ending numbers. I need only to strum this melody until such time as I have destroyed the creature's remains, yes? Why not? It could be simpler. It shall be the tune of my triumph. No, no. Oh my god! Thank you, adventurer. Now we might offer your prayers for the victims of the calamity. Undistributed by the discordant changing of metallic limbs. Without your aid. Cat, shut up! I'm trying to read stuff. <laughs> and the advice of those generous visitors, I would never have arrived at the solution you have provided. Yeah, the law fell's happy. I'm happy. It is incredible that can be accompanied with the wisdom and skill of many are bent towards the common goal. In fact, I am inspired to write a song in their honor. An ode to all the creative souls who bring such color and vibrancy to our world. Might I treat you with the first verse? <clears throat> Praise be to all ye men of worth who build proud towers from clouds of earth. Clouds of earth. Clouds. I'm an idiot. 
our grant our fancies from the weight. Mike, just give it. I want to read it. Look at him go. He's going to sing it. <laughs> What's going on? Like, uh, I want to see your face. Get, get away from me. Get away. What's going on? What the shit? Where the hell am I? Am I back in, like, uh, is this Ishgard? No. What? Well, look at those posters. Yeah. I want those posters. What am I? Why did I have those posters? <laughs> What's going? <laughs> You're freaking me out right now. Hey, he's a machinist. <laughs> Greetings, Warrior of Light. You arrived at the eighth, eighteenth floor. Eighteenth floor, what? It's this... the fourth wall. Get out of here! This world exists outside your reality. Could it be a dream? A flight of fancy conjured by our weary mind? Perhaps, perhaps not. <laughs> to all those you see here in the creators of incredible. Oh my god, I can't talk. I can't read. For every single speck of energy and passion they possess for forever channeled towards your realm. Towards Eorzea. What? Is this like the development room? Oh my god, it's Yoshida! <laughs> but the Mitzvah's Yoshida. <laughs> On behalf of the 18th floor, I bid you welcome. We are overjoyed to have your opportunity to offer you our heartfelt thanks. Oh. That's pretty cool. Just wait. Where's he going? Just, just wait. Just wait. I'm I'm waiting. Stop <laughs> getting excited. Your excitement's ruining my excitement. How is it ruining it? It should make it better. Oh my god. <sighs> what dude I get to okay. be Go around. Go around that board. Go around that board. I'm going around the board. What the shit? <laughs> what the, what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my god. What is he what is he doing? Why is it He's riding on it backwards. You can't ride on it backwards. Man, I'm never gonna let that Atmos scales. Hmm. You're an adventurer, aren't you? I can tell. I am Hiroshi Takai, assistant director of fourteen. It's wonderful to meet you. Without your fellow prayer Oh my god, it's coming faster. We wouldn't be here celebrating our two-year anniversary. We are deeply grateful for your support. Thank you. And oh man, it's so good. You're talking to somebody through the wall. I know. I was just trying. I was trying to see what was on the board there. Right? I think so. Come on. What? I gotta. I want to talk to people. Let's see who this is. Mihiro. Right. I finished writing the quest. Sent the request. Sent the request to the animation. Implemented the other thing. Now it's time to speak to Silken about the music and ask Hiroshi when he wants to do Alex and... Whoa! Come on, it's you. I am Mihiro, the main scenario writer. I've been hoping to meet you since the Calamity. On the second anniversary of the Realm of Born, I'm thrilled to find you here enjoying our game. May you continue to enjoy our story of Eorzea for many moons to come. Man, this is really cool, actually. I'm gonna tear up a little bit. I'm gonna tear up a little bit. Like, like this is neat. Look at that fat chocobo! Oh my god, you can, get on my camera, you can get that, that's like a minion. Greetings, I am Nobu, Nobuaki Kamoto, the lead planner. Amongst a multitude of other tasks, my job is to coordinate between the planners and the programmers and help balance the development operations. Day in, day out, the dev team is working hard to bring you a steady stream of enjoyment. We're listening to all your requests, criticism, and engagement, and we are looking forward to shaping up an even bigger and brighter Eorzea alongside you. That's cool. Oh man, it's Koji Fox. Koji Fox is one of my favorite people from the development team because he's the he's the guy that does all the uh, basically the translations and stuff. If you didn't know, Koji Fox. Wait, you can see me. This is most interesting. Why? Because I'm not here. There is no possible way I could be here, at least according to the rules which govern Hydaelyn. And 
It was I who hoped, helped, helped create those rules. At least I think I did. But if I'm here, then where was the real me? Any number of theories are possible, I suppose. I could be that the Calamity has somehow split me and been into two. Half of ether gathering here and the other half elsewhere. The western continent, perhaps. The moon? It could be what you see before you. It is but a clone ground, gown in, grown in some laboratorium by the self-same scholars who created those terrible simculari from the Zande, from Emperor Zande. And... It could be that this world is being generated by some ancient analog machine still humming away thousands of years in the fall of civilization. Virtual representation of the realm within blah blah blah. He's getting really wordy. I don't know if I can... I want to leave a lot of this in, but he's getting super wordy. Or it could be that I'm simply a song passed down from Eorzean bards so often that it become manifest in methods similar to how primals are summoned by the beast tribes. Or could it be that this is all a dream? But that would be stupid. I'll have to give this further thought. Alright. Hiroshi Minagawa. Greetings, I am Hiroshi Minagawa, the lead UI and web artist. I am usually in charge of how interface looks and feels, but this time around I was also fortunate enough to be involved with light and shadow adjustments for the background maps. As he did for the Rel as as he did for Realm Reborn. Yoshitata, Yoshitaka Amano created both the logo, silhouette, and the concept art for Heaven's Word, and he also threw in a bonus piece above and beyond what he asked for. The bonus art can be seen in a collector's edition. The shiny silver illustration. It's a cool piece of highly recommended if you check it out. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you continue to enjoy the game for a long time to come. That's cool. Takeo Suzuki. Hello, I am Tekio Suzuki, the lead designer. My position is my position has me overseeing the graphics of the entire game. This includes all the character animations, backgrounds, and cutscenes. Thank you for coming to visit us here in the 18th floor. We love to hear from our players. Your interest and support are always a source of enthusiasm and encouragement. We want to meet all of your expectations, and we'll keep coming up with interesting equipment and dungeons so all you enjoy together. Yeah, gotta get around that chair. That what's his face on a horse is ridiculous to me. Hideki Kusia. Hi there, I am Hide Uki Kasuge. I'm really bad with Japanese names that I should be better. The lead programmer in charge of all 14's engineering related tasks. There is so much I would like to tell you about the technical side of things, but I'm afraid my explanation will tend to get a bit long winded. Possibly best if we just skip it for now. Tech matters aside, I'm glad to see you having fun with the game. There's a lot of excitement to come, so keep out for future enhancements. Announcements. Knee socks. What's he doing over here? I am Ayoshi, I am Ayoshi Soken, the director, sound director from OC14. Day in and night, I'm here working on ways to enhance our players' gaming experience. But who wants to talk about that? Somehow, someday, I want to see this room filled with a crowd of warriors of light wearing Archon Clouts of Healing. He's got some birds. Wait, there's somebody. Who's this over here? What did he say? I just saw somebody who said something. What's he saying? What's he saying? What? Did you say something? I can't hear you. Right, who's over here? Oh my gosh. Are you certain this neural link is tight? Look at this cool. It's the uh it's one of the friendship mounts you can get. Assistant director and lead battle planner Mayoshi Gondai at your service. It's been two years since the release of Realm Reborn, and thanks to our loyal players, we've been able to put out our first expansion. We won't stop there, of course. Everyone on the dev team will continue working their hardest to create the quality content. Hmm. Maybe I will go with the final boss for the next extreme battle. Koji Susuragi. A pleasure to meet you. I am Koji from the Online Business Management Division. You may have also seen me embarrassing myself as Annie. 
As part of my duties in the marketing team, I do my best to introduce as many people as possible to a fine MMORPG that is Final Fantasy XIV. Together with everyone involved in the making of Final Fantasy XIV channel, it will be a pleasure to continue resulting in the new heroes who are to become the future reoccurring companions. Wait, is there something in here? No. Now, where did I put that clockwork doom train? Oh my god, a clockwork doom train? Please let that happen. Is that... I... That needs to happen. Bring clockwork doom train. Done. Make that happen. That better be... That better be a hint of something to come. What would you bring together with the two primals, Behemoth and Bombi? Er, can I... Greetings, I am Toshio Murochi from the community team. When people ask, that's how I explain my position. But I also have a lot of work to do with operations and marketing teams. I can hardly believe that we're already celebrating two years of Final Fantasy Rent, Realm Reborn. I fly all over the world, 14 related events, and recently uh, calculated the distance I've traveled over the course of my last 12 months. A total of 154,750 kilometers. Oh, that's just insane. Now that will stop me from fitting across the globe in the next 12 months, I shall in hopes and dreams of our fans. Speaking of which, I'm about to stand planning for the next fan festival. We need to go to the next fan festival. I hope I get to go to the next fan festival. That needs to happen. It's in Japan, isn't it? They have fan festivals all over the world. This, have I talked to everybody? I think I have. Whoa. If I cross over that line, I can't go back. Uh, what, did I, what did she say? Abandon all hope? Let me go back. I need to read what she just said. Abandon all hope, ye who enter in here. Oh, just... I'm okay. Well, look at these model airships. Dude. A big... Man, these need to be furniture pieces. That'd be badass. Did Some of them might be, actually, already. Oh, hold on, I'm lagging a little bit. Some of the really cool artwork. I'm looking at artwork. Shush. No mullet. That's cool. I hear you found some new. I hear you found some new housing. What's he say? What's he say to rebut that? So that's Mr. Housing over there. I forget his actual name. I'm trying to get back so that word bubble pops up. They should just have the word bubbles pop up again with the headshot. That's funny. I did not just equip. Oh, he's got the Realm Reborn logo up there. Well, it's time to end all of this, I think. As much fun as this area is, and it's really cool. Um, yeah. I know that each of my colleagues was keen to thank you in person. Have you spoken to everyone? Yes, I have spoken to everyone. Would you accompany me for a time, then? There is something I wish to share with you. Yeah. I do hope you're enjoying your time here in the 18th floor. We've all been so eager to meet you. You see, Eorzea is our shared passion. From, our, from, from its deepest valley to its loftiest cloud and all that lies in between and you as one of who has chosen to fight for the glorious realm I have become I have become a hero not only to Eorzea as citizens but to us as well man this is pretty cool I thought he was about to die. I know, he's, he's running. He doesn't run very often. Yeah, 
As I am sure you know, our beloved star once fell, once faced a ruinous fate. It was a fate born of arrogance and pride and vanity, a fate that we brought upon ourselves. Thus did we seek to commune with you, Eorzea's heroes, that we might together realize our deepest plan, to forsake our doomed path and begin our journey anew. We would tear down what we had wrought and build another world amid the wreckage of our limb, of our Humbrus. Since that day of rebirth, more than five years have passed in Eorzea. The land breathes with renewed vigor. The lure of adventure invites you onwards and upwards to the heavens themselves. We shall never again make the mistake of believing that Hydaelyn is ours alone. It is a culminate. Is it a communal culmination? Yeah, I can't read. Culmination of history that we have made together, and the future we have yet to share. There will be days when we will stand side by side, our laughter rain raining in the air. There will be days when we shall be at odds, our brows furrowed in frustration. But only through such earnest exchanges shall Eorzea continue to flourish, and new creatures take shape. The calamity taught us the truth of that. It was our fondest hope that adventures in Eorzea of the constant source of joy and wonder. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal. <laughs> Code, you <laughs> so beefy looking. Now the time has come for our visit to end. Time for your eyes to open from this waking realm. Ever will we be watching over you and your deeds. Guide the realm until peace and happiness, warrior of light. <laughs> Man, that... That was actually pretty damn cool. Oh, look, it's a lava fell again. By your expression, I thought your mind had adrifted to distant seas. Tell me, what manner of waking dream captivated your senses so completely? Dude, this is a video game, and there's people... Controlling our world. Shh. Go on. Go on. God, you don't need to come up to me just screaming. Damn kids. Fascinating. A vision I would have. A vision of a world that exists outside our reality. Was it a dream? A flight of fancy conjured by our weary mind? I doubt we will ever know. I mean to remain in Ulda for the duration of the anniversary celebrations. Should you wish to experience the visions again, you have only to ask. I should be glad to send you on your way with a song. <clears throat> with a song. Okay, cool. So you can go back if you wanted to. That's kind of neat. It means to me that both of you and the characters in your visions share a powerful desire to protect the nature of Eorzea. Mayhap it was which gave from the scene you witnessed. Fireworks! So, ah, uh, uh, there's more, there's more speak here. Let us now take a moment to remember those flames were extinguished too soon. The tragedies of yesterday must not be forgotten, lest we take granted for the gifts of tomorrow. So, that was probably one of the most coolest things I've experienced in a video game. That's a cool shot. Um, this is a fact for for those of you that don't know or don't play um, Final Fantasy XIV. Um, In-game characters talk a lot about the calamity 
um, which was a giant meteor falling basically on the realm of the concentration minigame is now available. You've unlocked the concentration minigame. Open the toy chest. I'm gonna have to go see what that is. That's crazy. Um, but uh, back in like 2010, yeah, 2010, um, they released Final Fantasy 14, and they did basically Square Enix just did a shitastic job of it. Uh, and it was it was basically so bad that they um, they had to quit and basically remake the game. And it was very impressive that they decided to do that because they could have just said screw it, scrap the game and called it good and shut down the servers and lost tons of money on it. Um, but Yoshida stepped forward. He, you know, he's like, hey, yes, the players as a whole, please stick with us. I'm going to fix it. And um, they had to remake the game. Like I said, so they remade the game and they, they wrote storyline in of destroying the first game completely which was also a really cool thing so i've that's one of the reasons why i love final fantasy 14 so much is the fact that i've never experienced some of the uniqueness stuff in the game like that um been through of the remaking this game so they wrote the end of the first game into the storyline and you got to live that which was really cool um as a character in the game you got to see that as a player um and then then the fact of the second anniversary here of, of A Realm Reborn. Um, you get to go to that room and meet all the developers and have them thank you for sticking by them. Which was really cool because a lot of people didn't stick by. They said, I'm not playing this bullshit. I hate Square Enix now. And, but they've they've done a good job. And they've, they've done the remake pretty good. Um, before I go, let's use those new minions. Um, I guess I'll show them off real quick. That's not what I wanted. Minion guide. Cat, you bring out your you giddy. So I'll bring out you giddy, or I'll bring out Ice Heart. <laughs> My wife will bring out the you giddy there. Whoop. So there's their new minions. That you get from the event here. They're both pretty cool. Minions are pretty cool, especially because they keep making these little guys, uh, or, you know, um, big NPC characters. Oop. You get to just gank somebody. Let's see what Iceheart does. Does Iceheart just stand there? <laughs> they have a lot of characters. I'm surprised because one of the biggest uh, requests right now is for a. Um, um, Partial font minion, and they haven't put that out yet, so I hope they don't put it in a cash shop, because she's like, oh, uh, she dances, I guess. That's all she does. I never how big Sid's head was. Oh my god, Sid does have a big head, that's weird. Alright guys, um, this video is going to turn out a little bit longer than I had hoped, uh, especially from all that reading that I did, because I wanted to keep that stuff in... The developer stuff in this video because I thought it was really really cool um, so thank you guys for putting up with my bad reading and my bad voice acting that I do <laughs> oh my god he's so big uh, thank you so much for watching until the next video be kind to each other and I'll see you guys next time bye bye there we go We're cruising now, everybody. Oh, I got blizzards.